should get off the stage. Anyone think that's a good idea? No. no? no? Good. Keep, going. Keep on going. Keep on going. Keep on going. One more hilarious joke off my list of hilarity. Um, you can see there's lipstick stains on it because I kiss it. Um, do you get the Oprah in Austria? Do you get the Oprah? Sometimes. Mexico, do you get Oprah or do you have your own Oprah? Do you like our Oprah? She's pretty good Oprah. I don't think countries should get their own. I think they should have to use ours. Oprah, I can't tell if when Oprah comes out on stage, those women are crying, screaming, and peeing upon the sight of their Lord. Are they not? They are very excited to see Oprah. Oprah! They're very excited to see their Oprah. There she is in person. They can't believe it. Oprah! But do you think it's because they're really excited to see Oprah or because they think they might be getting free stuff? <laughs> free stuff? Free stuff? Might be about the free stuff? So don't you think that at the end of every show, no matter what the topic is, you shouldn't disappoint anyone, no matter what the topic is, Oprah should be giving away free stuff, am I right? Yeah. Like, let's say the topic is Rwandan orphans. <laughs> at the end of the show, Oprah should say, everybody look under your seat. You're getting an orphan. You're getting an orphan. You're getting an orphan. All the little elves come out with bags full of orphans. Everybody's crying, screaming, and peeing, especially the orphans, because they don't know where the hell they are. Like, Where's my hut? Who's the lady in the sweater set from Iowa? I don't want to go home with her. I want to go to the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for young girls, because I have the it factor. I just uh, I just moved back uh, to LA from San Francisco. I lived in San Francisco for a couple months. Yeah, yeah you like San Francisco? Yeah, yeah it's, uh, of course you do. <laughs> it's happening for you. Hey, San Francisco. <laughs> but uh, I, I moved down to LA for a couple reasons. So one of the reasons I moved back to, uh, to LA is because uh, people in San Francisco think you owe them something. Like especially the homeless. They like they just have this certain false sense of entitlement. Like, this one homeless guy came up to me with a sign that says, Give me money for weed or beer. I'm not going to lie to you, I can relate to that. So I pulled out a couple dollars, about to hand it to him, and I stopped. Like, wait a minute, homeless man. How do I know you're not going to buy food with this? <laughs> My friends, they take one day a week uh, to, you know, with the guys, and they go bowling. You guys like bowling? Bowling fans? Yeah? 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 Fuck bowling. I don't like it. I just feel weird sticking three fingers into something that doesn't slap me in the face. Right? You guys do this when, you, when you're walking with a girl? Do you guys ever do this? Do you walk with your hand on the small of her back? Because I just do this. Like, going through the door, my wife likes it. And then uh, she says it makes her feel safe. And then I go, oh, does this make you feel safe? And then she goes, ah, it's this fun game we have. Yeah. It's really cute. But that only works for my wife. It doesn't work for my friends. Not at all. I don't, dude, does this make you feel safe? Mm, not at all. Not the least bit. I feel very unsafe. You know what I want to bring back, guys? I don't know if you guys know about this. Remember this? Oakland A's? Remember this? I want to bring this back. Right? You're looking at me like, when did that shit go out? I did that this afternoon. <laughs> It's raising the roof, and I want to bring it back. If you guys remember, it started because professional basketball players would dunk the ball, and then they'd raise the roof. And that's why I caught on, because professional basketball players are cool. You couldn't just be anybody and start some goofy shit <laughs> like that, right? Like, what if your dad tried to start that? <laughs> just came home one day, and he's like, I don't work tomorrow. <laughs> like, okay, do you also have epilepsy? <laughs> Mom, grab a spoon, right? Dad's having a fucking seizure. But if your dad came home and he was like, Happy birthday, son, I'm getting you an Asian massage. You'd be like, fuck yeah, dad. Well, this is nice to be in Santa Barbara where it's safe. Uh, my old manager, he wanted to send me to Afghanistan. And I was like, oh, how about fucking no? <laughs> Why don't you go, right? But he tried to make it sound, he said, he tried to make it sound better than it was. He's like, don't worry about it. Afghanistan's not so bad. It's not like Iraq. Iraq's bad. Afghanistan is just a passive war zone. It's just, it's, it's classified as a passive war zone. I'm like, yeah, you still totally said war zone. What the fuck is a passive war zone anyways? Are they all over there fighting? Like, die, sort of. <laughs> If you want to, I don't know. What are those bullets? They tickle. Stop it. I don't like this war. 
It's a stupid term. They put two words together, they cancel them out. Passive war. Like, ch -ch -ch -ch. nice pants. <laughs> Appreciate that. They had their camos. I got them when I enlisted. <laughs> I couldn't go to Afghanistan anyways because I'm Jewish and that shit does not fly there. A lot of people, they don't think I'm Jewish. They're like, you're Jewish? You don't look Jewish. And I'm like, oh, you didn't look racist. <laughs> Fucking mullet is a weird haircut. I don't know who, how do you go in to a barber shop and ask for a mullet? You just walk in, yeah, just take a lot off the sides and then that's it. <laughs> Yeah, I'd like to look at much like failure as possible. If you have a ripped flannel vest, I'd take it. I do like everyone though. All types of people. Even missionaries. A lot of people don't like missionaries because they're annoying. And they are. But they're always nice. That's why I like them. You'll never hear any... You ever see a missionary? No matter what. Even if they're annoying, they're always like, God bless. Have a blessed day. <laughs> right? They're always nice. You'll never hear anybody go, dude, missionaries come up to me today? Dicks. <laughs> Won't hear it, because they're always nice. I think it'd be cute, though, if when missionaries went home to a little missionary house, if they were totally different. You know, like one guy sitting on the couch, ties undone, watching porn, drinking a beer. <laughs> the other guy comes home late, he's been putting in some overtime, right? Kicks down the door, he's like, guess who converted three motherfuckers today? <laughs> What? You got three? Two fags and a Jew, bitch. Oh. <laughs>